Now, from the makers of Cold Water Omo... Mrs. Peel was curious. She made her way into the building that housed the dance studio, Terpsichorean Training Techniques, noting with interest an announcement that hung from the glass doors, Instructress Wanted. Mrs. Peel pushed open the door and entered. And Mrs. Peel looked around the foyer with interest, reading the poster. Dancing feet or happy feet? Tantalizing Terpsichorean techniques taught. Try it the Latin American way. One, two, one, two, three, that's it, one. And Emma Peel, the Avengers. There is no dirt that can stand up to the cleaning power of cold water Omo. Over one million South African housewives have proved it. And Mrs. Bodington is one of them. My wash is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud of it. My husband particularly wears a lot of white plain bowls and his clothing always looks delightful. There's nothing like cold water Omo. Yes, once an Omo user, always an Omo user. Cold water Omo is the washing powder that cleans best. in which John Steed does a little checking up on his own, and Emma Peel joins a dance school where they teach the quick, quick, slow dance. John Steed and Emma Peel were investigating the death of an unknown man in evening clothes who'd been toppled out of a pram one cold and windy morning in Shoreham High Street. Willie Fair, a passé agent, had been in the process of disposing of the body when an accident had knocked him unconscious. Fair himself had then met a sticky end when trying to escape during a period of interrogation. So, the dead man's identity remained unknown until both John Seed and Emma Peel had come up with the name Arthur Peaver. Mrs. Peel's investigations followed the trail of Peaver's dancing shoes. It led her to the salon of Terpsichorean training techniques. Mrs. Peel entered the ballroom. One, two, one, two, one, two. And back, Lee Turner, bring those feet and watch that down. Up, up, up on your toes. Oh, control it a bit more, Nikki. Yes, Miss Banks. Nikki, a slim, pretty dance instructress, swerved a very fat man who appeared to be very heavy on his and her feet. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry, Miss. I'll beg your pardon. It's quite all right. Swing! Come round! 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 That's it! Round! Oh, I, I can't! Oh, oh! The fat man stumbled. The impetus of the turn seemed to send him into orbit. Mrs. Peel was unfortunately within that orbit. Oh! Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh. So, so sorry. I'm... Oh, well, perhaps this is as good a time as any to have a tea break. Take a break, Nicky dear. Um, I am Miss Banks, the principal here. Can I help you? Oh, I hope so. My name's Peel, Mrs. Emma Peel. And you wish to train to trip the turf securian light fantastic. Well, Mrs. Peel, I can assure you that you've got... Well, actually, I want a job. Indeed? Yes. I saw you 
you were advertising for an instructress, and I thought if the post was still vacant. Mm. Well, you're very tall. That could be a disadvantage. Well, we'll put you to the test, shall we? Oh, I was just in time. The snaky man who'd committed the murder in the clothes hire shop, Vichen and Co., oiled his way across the floor, lightly smoothing his thin moustache as his eyes worked themselves over Mrs. Peel. This is Mrs. Emma Peel, Ivor Bracewell, our senior male tutor. Very pleased to meet you, Mrs. Peel. Take Mrs. Peel round the floor, will you, Ivor? With the greatest of pleasure. Bracewell gave a seductive leer and extended his arm. Mrs. Peel, concealing a faint shudder of repulsion, slipped into them. They took the floor. Yes, yes, you move well enough. Have you had much experience? Well, only the most practical kind. My father, he entertained a good deal, a preponderance of heavy elderly gentlemen. Uh, it was considered important that I uh, make them feel as though they could dance. I see. Uh, yes, well, I think that will do. I'll um, give you a chance to show what you can do, Mrs. Peel. We'll give you a week's trial. Nicky, show Mrs. Peel around the establishment. We will see how you shape up by the end of the week. Thank you. Miss then, Mrs. Peel, uh... I may call you Emma Man. Yes, right? of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'd say that one shapes up pretty well. With a shape like that, how could it be otherwise? Keep your mind on your feet, Ivor, and your hands to yourself. This is business, not pleasure. Understand? <laughs> It didn't take Nicky long to explain the ropes to Mrs. Peel. We're expected to take six pupils each per day, one hour sessions each. It isn't hard work, so long as you have unlimited energy, a constitution of an ox, and cast iron feet. Is it as bad as that? Worse. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Reed. Yes. Uh, Mr. Reed, may I introduce Mrs. Emma Peel? She's just joined us. Chester Reed, Sandy. Yes. How, how do you do? How do you nice, do? nice to know you. Excuse me, I, I know I left my cough mixture somewhere. <laughs> it's all right. He drinks a bit too much, that's all. He doesn't have enough to do during the week when we use the gramophone for practice, but he comes into his own on dance night. That's every week or so when they hold a dance for our budding pupils. We finally limp our way home about midnight, and Lucille sees that we don't rest for a moment. Oh, no. Oh, no, look who's here. A mousy-looking little man entered and peered around anxiously. Our prize toe crusher. Well, you have to start somewhere, Emma. Might as well be him. Well, 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 good afternoon. Afternoon. My, we are looking debonair today. Oh, you think so? You're just in time to meet our latest instructress. An unrivaled expert in Latin American dancing. Mm-hmm. May I present Mrs. Emma Peel? How do? Mrs. Peel, one of our star pupils, Mr. Arthur Peaver. How do you... Hmm? That'll give you something to think about, won't it, Mrs. Peel? <laughs> Two hours later, a rather exhausted Mrs. Peel turned up at John Steed's apartment. She had a candid camera shot with her, a photograph taken during the afternoon's practice of Peaver. There, see? Thinning hair, timid, mousy. Hmm. And yet there is a superficial resemblance to the man we saw in the accident involving the prayer. Yes. Seems we have two Arthur Peavers, one dead. And one learning to swing a dainty shoe. The trouble is, which is, or was, the real one? Well, this will help me. I found out the bank Peaver used. The manager should be able to identify him from this. Like to come along, Mrs. Field? Oh, I wish I could, but I have to get back to the studio. I'm not exactly dancing for joy about the job, but it does give me the opportunity to do my Cinderella bit. Hmm? What? Mrs. Peel brandished a pair of shoes. These were made for Arthur Peaver. And if the shoe fits, well, that'll tell us something. Bye, Steve. <laughs> Getting to fit the shoes wasn't going to be easy. Back at the dance salon, Mrs. Peel could only resort to strolling into the men's locker room and leaving the shoes in the cubbyhole marked Peaver. Sooner or later, he would try them on. 
Mrs. Peel was making her way out when... Out of your territory, aren't you, Mrs. Peel? Oh, Mr. Bracewell, I got lost. Took the wrong door. Little girl laughed. Uh, let me take you by the arm. That won't be necessary. I'm only going to lead you back where you belong. I can find my own way. It pays to be nice to me. Then I shall try to remember that. Now, will you please let me pass? Starting now. Braceful made a lecherous grasp at Mrs. Peel's waist. Mrs. Peel sidestepped, grabbing an open locker door and slamming it closed on Braceful's fingers. Oh, oh my goodness, Mr. Braceful, I do hope I haven't hurt you. Don't think you can monkey me around. I'm important, very important, and you'll treat me with respect. I saw. Ah, Mrs. Peel, I believe you have a pupil waiting. Please attend to your duties. Yes, of course, Miss Banks. Excuse me, Mr. Bracewell. You fool. I told you to leave the girls alone. What was she doing in here, anyway? I don't know. I think she was searching one of the lockers. Is that so? Hmm. Then I'd better keep an eye on her. A very watchful eye. Haven't I? Steed headed for the bank. It was closed. But the manager was still there, and Steed explained his business. Yes, uh, Arthur. Arthur Peaver had an account here. I had. Then you know? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sad. Very sad. Mm, very, very sad. Quite a shock. Um, the photograph. Is it him? Mm. Yes, 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 that's him. You're sure? Very sure. Very, very sure? Positive. This is Arthur Peaver. I never forget a face, despite the fact that I only met him once. You only met him once? Naturally. The day he came in to close his account. I see. Did he give you a forwarding address? Yes, he was a bit, bit reluctant about it at first, but when I explained that I have to send details of his balance... Do you have the address? Somewhere here. Yes, um, ah, here it is. Yes, um, care of Furbright and Company, Mackie Dockey Street. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mackie Dockey Street is dreary and gone to seed. Many office blocks stand empty. Others are in the process of being pulled down. Herbright and Curl were on the ninth floor. Steed wasn't mad about the shaky lift, which groaned its way upwards to a shuddering stop. Steed marched down the grubby corridor and rapped on the door. It said, Herbright and Curl. There was no answer. Steed tried the door. It was stiff. Steed put his shoulder to it. It flew open. <laughs> Beyond the door was nothing. Just empty space, a sheer drop to a disused plot of ground below. Steed clung to the door frame and pulled himself back to safety, watching his bowler hat spinning to the ground below. Near thing, that, Steed. <laughs> You've got people coming, and you want your kitchen to look specially clean. But is everything really clean? Not only where people notice, but in those hard-to-reach cracks and crevices like around the sink. That's the sort of dirt that's hardest to shift if you don't have Vim 99. Only Vim has deep-cleaning bleach to get right down into cracks and deep-set stains, leaving everything really clean and germ-free. For total cleanness you can trust, use Vim. Vim 99, the strong one. There's just no dirt that can stand up to the cleaning power of cold water Omo. Mrs. Gray of Durban has this to say. Uh, I couldn't even explain it. it. It astounded me. I was really and truly very astounded. Once an OMO user, always an OMO user. The Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers, brought to you by the makers of Cold Water Omo. Oh, no.